This informational video will cover task number four on box and whisker plots for your data project. Task number four has you creating two box and whisker plots, one for each set of data, and then identifying the shape of the distribution and the best measures of center and variation based on that shape for each of your box and whiskers. You have several options for how you can do this. The first way is the one that I recommend and that is using the BoxPlot Grapher website tool. That link is directly in the project overview. The other options is that you could draw it on paper and then take a photo of your box and whisker and upload that into your project, or you could use Microsoft Drawing or Google Drawing to draw your box and whisker on the computer and then copy and paste the image. So here's what the BoxPlot Grapher tool looks like. So when you click that link, it takes you to a website that looks just like this. So I'm gonna go through what each of these pieces mean. In this first box, it says box plot one title. This is where you're gonna put the title for the entire graph. So if your graph is showing the heights of students, you might wanna call it heights of students. Um, for these five boxes, this is where you're gonna put your five values that you would need in order to make a box and whisker. So where you would normally plot your points on the number line to create that box and whisker plot, that's what you're gonna put here. The minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, maximum. So here's an example of some possible heights of sixth graders, and I filled in my five values. This area is where we're going to describe what we want our number line to look like. So overall min is what we want the number line to start at. Overall max is what we want to go up to. So you want to make sure your minimum is either equal to this number or less, and the maximum is either equal to this or greater. Distance between tick marks means what do you want to count by. So it could be one, five, ten, just depending on your data. An axis title, this is where your units go. So for heights of sixth graders, I would make sure that that said inches. So here's an example based on the data I have already. Once all of that is filled in, you would click draw here, you click that button, and it draws a box and whisker plot for you. It has the title, the label, and then it shows the way that I wanted it to be counted, and it shows our five data values. So once you have that, you can click copy to clipboard, and then click on your document and use Control-V to paste. You could also right-click on the image and do um, copy and then paste into your document that way. If you have some sort of a screenshot or a snipping tool on your computer, you could also use that to just kind of copy the image and then paste it over. Um, and remember, you can change what the increments are. So here I counted by fives, but if I change that to a one, this is what it looks like. And my number line just shows counting by ones. So you can kind of play around with that to best fit how you want your box and whisker plot to look. So that is the preferred way of doing this. It looks very professional. It's all created for you on the computer. All you need is the data. The second option is that you can draw your box and whisker plot on paper if you want to. Um, if you do that, you would just take a photo of it, either with your computer or with your camera, and then um, upload that photo into your document. Um, with option number three, this is for more tech-savvy people, you can use Microsoft Drawing or Google Drawings to draw your box and whisker on the computer. So I'm going to show you what that could look like. So when you're in Google Drive, you can do uh, New and then Drawing, and it will create a, uh, a file that looks like this. And then you can use the tools here to draw your box and whisker. So there's a line tool. You could start your number line um, kind of like that. Now, I've found that this can take quite a bit of time and doesn't always look the most clear. It's not always super neat. So I don't recommend this, but I know that some people do like to do it this way, so it is an option. Um, once you're done inside your actual project, your document, you can do Insert Drawing and then From Drive, and your drawing should pop up right there. You can just click it, select. If you link it, then once you change things on here, it will automatically update on your document, which is pretty cool. There we go. So you can also add, if you did the um, take a photo, you can do that here as well. If you do insert um, image, you can upload it from your computer, or if you saved it to your Google Drive, you could um, add it to the file from there. 
So remember that after you make your two box and whisker plots, don't forget to answer the two questions based on each box and whisker and answer in complete sentences. And that is it for task number four.